Hello guys, Greg here from FragranceSamplesUK.com. Thank you for tuning in. So, today I wanted to shine some light on the fantastic house of Frederick Marle. If you're not familiar with the house, Frederick Marle, he's not actually a perfumer, he's a brand owner, and he works with the best perfumers from around the world to create amazing fragrances for his house. So, as part of the fragrance samples range, I've got 11 of my favourite fragrances in the house to talk about today. All of these are available to purchase in various sizes from FragranceSamplesUK.com. Please do check out the website. If you're outside of the UK, you can't order through the website as yet, but you can email us at info at FragranceSamplesUK.com and we can uh, discuss how you can place an order and how we can get that to you. So the first fragrance we've got here is this one, which is called L'eau d'hiver. And, and that L'eau d'hiver means winter water. Uh, this fragrance is centered around the note of heliotrope. Heliotrope is, is the purple flower part of a, a flowering uh, bush that you see a lot in the UK. Um, you probably won't even know that you've seen it, but they're everywhere. And, and in perfumery, that, that heliotrope note has kind of an almond and sometimes a vanilla scent to it. Um, L'eau de Vair's also got musk, it's got iris, it's got honey, and it's marketed as a unisex fragrance. So that's the first one, and that is L'eau de Vair. Uh, next up we've got one of my favourite um, summer fragrances at the moment. I'm really enjoying wearing this one. And this is called Bigarard Concentré. So this is a beautiful green citrus fragrance. It's, it's dominated by orange, but it's also got um, like a green grassy scent to it. There's a hint of rose in here, there's a little bit of spice. Um, this one's a light fragrance. It's not weak, but it's light, which makes it sort of... Um, it's perfect for really hot days because um, if you want to smell clean and fresh but you don't want to be overpowering, this one works perfectly in that kind of scenario. So that's Bigarard Concentrate. Um, next, we've got one that's centred around a note that's really becoming one of my favourite notes at the moment. And this fragrance is called Geranium Pour Monsieur. And... That note, obviously, that I'm talking about is geranium. Now, geranium gives off like a fresh, minty smell, but this fragrance also has mint in it as well. So if you put the geranium and the mint together, you're really getting a great burst of fresh mintiness in here. Um, this one's marketed for men, but it's perfectly unisex, in my opinion. So that's geranium pour monsieur. Uh, next, we've got one that is marketed towards women. Um, but a lot of guys li like this fragrance, and, and a lot of guys wear this, especially um, real fragrance fanatics, people in the fragrance community. In my opinion, it works better on ladies, but that's just a subjective thing, and obviously everyone can wear whatever they feel comfortable with. But this one is called Portrait of a Lady. Now, whenever there's a, a poll on any of the Facebook groups regarding most complimented fragrances, this one is always right up there at, near the top of the list. It's centred around rose, and it's supported by incense and patchouli. There's many other notes in here, but in my opinion, those three notes are what you're going to smell if you wear this fragrance. And it will interchange as to which one you can smell the most as the scent kind of develops on your skin. Um, so certainly one of the most um, critically acclaimed fragrances from the house. That's Portrait of a Lady. Next one, this is one of the uh, newest additions to our range at FragranceSamplesUK.com. This one is called Noir Epice. And that means black spices. It's a good name for the fragrance. It is very spicy. But it's not all about spice. It has got geranium in here. It's got some citrus. It's got some rose. Um, another one that um, I think works very well on both ladies and men. Uh, now, one that you will guess by the name is definitely marketed towards men. And this one is called simply Monsieur. Um, and I agree, this one does is certainly a masculine fragrance. This was created by um, Bruno Jovanovic, and he's done also did Dries Van Notten for the Frederick Marle House. He did Ab Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Um, there's lots of incense, lots of patchouli in this fragrance. There's also some citrus and some woods, and there's a little hint of vanilla in here. As I said, very masculine. Not one of my personal favourites from the house, but it is very well reviewed by other people. Uh, next we've got one that in my opinion, it's actually surprisingly uncreative for this house. This house is known for its creativity. It doesn't mean this is a bad fragrance. Actually, it's very beautiful, but it's just not groundbreaking at all in any way. And this one is called Cologne Indelebile. So if you know Tom Ford's um, Nerodi Portofino, this one's actually quite a similar scent to that one. There's just a bit more musk in this fragrance. Um, there are some other differences, but they're very similar. Um, performance on this one's really good. It's comparable to the vintage version of Nerodi Portofino, much better than the current version. Um, 
In terms of prices for this versus Navrodi Portofino, they're exactly the same on fragrancesamplesuk.com. So check that one out. Um, again, perfectly unisex fragrance. Next we've got another one of the sort of flagship fragrances from the house. And this one is called Carnal Flower. Again, this one's marketed as unisex, but another one that I personally think works better on ladies. Um, could talk a lot about this fragrance, but to simplify it, it's essentially a tuberose bomb, this fragrance. You have to be a tuberose lover to love this fragrance. And if you are a tuberose lover, this might well be the best scent you ever smell. That is Carnal Flower. Next, so my personal favourite fragrance from this house, uh, marketed as unisex, but for me this is all man, this one. And this is a love-hate fragrance, there's no in-between with this one, you love it or you hate it. And this is called Musk Ravageur. Um, if you're a guy that's like looking for compliments for your fragrances, I'll tell you this straight, that this one, you've got a 50-50 chance of women absolutely loving this fragrance or hating it. Um, I personally love this fragrance, but it's important to let you know that this is a very polarizing fragrance. It's very animalic. The opening has a very strong clove note, which I love, but a lot of people find it off-putting. The dry down is heavenly vanilla, and I don't think you'll find anyone that doesn't enjoy that. Um, in between and throughout those notes, you do have... Um, it's kind of got almost a sweaty rawness to this. It's kind of, as I said, animalic, almost smells like somebody's body um, and that's why some people absolutely love it and some people hate it I guess. Beastly performance on this one you'll fill the room all day if you're wearing this but it's definitely one you need to sample and not blind by. That is Musk Ravageur. We've got two more to go. Um, this one I love the name of this fragrance it conjures up all kinds of images. This is French Lover. So this is a vetiver and cedar scent. Uh, it's musky, it's woody, it's spicy, it's herbal. There's a lot going on in here. Marketed for men and definitely best suited to men in my opinion, but a lady could pull this one off for sure. Um, it's one of the more commercially successful fragrances from the house, I believe. That's French Lover. And finally we have Le Parfum de Therese. Um, my least favourite from our range actually, um, not because it's a bad scent, but just because it doesn't personally work for me. It's got quite an interesting story behind this one. It was created by perfumer um, Edmund Rud um, pronounce his name, Edmund Rudnitska um, for his wife, Therese, and that was back in the, the late 50s. Now, he, uh, Rudnitska died in 1996, but a few years after that, his wife gave the formula to Frederick Marr so that fragrance could be recreated. Um, it's a very fruity sheep fragrance. It's got leather, it's got rose. Definitely better for a lady, in my opinion, but again, as always, each to their own. So there you go, guys. That's uh, a kind of quick overview of the Frederick Mile House. All of these fragrances are available from fragrancesamplesuk.com in various sizes. Please visit the site and have a look around. We've got over 450 fragrances to sample. That number's growing every week. Now, if you order before the end of Monday, the 15th of August, this is 2016, you can still get 15% off any fragrance, any order, with the promo code LAUNCH15. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're outside of the UK, you can't order through the website as yet, but you can email us at info at fragrancesamplesuk.com to discuss any potential orders. Guys, please do give a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. Many thanks, and I'll see you all soon with another video. Cheers.